Hi everybody. Let's say uh, we record the sound and then we want to listen to it. Um, the DAW is the software that puts together devices such as monitors or the audio interface, allowing us to uh, work in real time with music. We know that uh, the computer can't understand the audio information if not um, in binary terms. In depth, we say that uh, an information that contains a zero or one is called bit, and a collection of bits is a, a, a word and can be big or small. When we acquire or reproduce audio with our PC, we measure it in splitting its amplitude in discrete states. How many states? It depends um, on the bit depth. If we record, for example, with a bit depth of uh, 16 bits, that it's a word of uh, 16 bits. We have 2 to the power of 16 possible levels of amplitude um, while measuring a wave uh, which is going to have a certain grade of detail. If we record at uh, 24 bits, preferable when possible, we have 2 to the power of 24 possible states and um, our waveform will be much more detailed. Besides the bit depth, uh, we already know that uh, there's this sampling rate. And speaking of that, we know our ears can hear frequencies higher than uh, 20,000 Hz. Uh, usually, therefore, we set our DAW so uh, that it records um, with a sampling rate of uh, 44.1 kHz or 48 kHz. The reason behind this big number of, of samples per second is due to the fact that to produce a wave, even if a, a simple and triangular one, uh, we need two samples, one and two. Now, speaking of how the DAW saves our project on the hard disk, we notice it creates particular formats of files. First of all, it's going to use um, lossless type of files, such as a wave or a if. Files lossly uh, compressed as MP3 would make us lose information about the sound, making us uh, unable to work properly on our music. It's of vital importance working with high quality files. An important wave feature is that they are interleaved files. This means they have inside them two audio tracks, the left one and the right one, mounted together. The DAW usually saves the files it, it uses in a folder in which it keeps all the information required to keep working on a musical project. There will be audio files, their relative metadata with, for example, crossfades, the portion of files with, uh, which are used and when are used into the projects, info regarding plugins and their settings, and then the real project file. Let's remember when we started a new project to keep an eye on this important subject. We should use interleaved, uncompressed files, recorded at 24-bit depth and at a, a sample rate of uh, 48,000 Hz. Your DAW surely has the settings and the general preferences, whether it, it is Ableton, Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic or, as for me, uh, Reaper.